What is up, guys? So the moment of truth is here. Sean Strickland has released some footage of the moment when Drickus Duplessis allegedly headbutts him. But before we break down this footage in slow motion action, let's go ahead and read the caption that Sean Strickland wrote saying, I didn't take the coward's way out, tell the doctor I couldn't see, and get a no contest. The only reason why he took a round from me is because I couldn't see. I won that fight. The world knows I won that fight. The belt they gave you would never make you a champion. Enjoy. They had to stitch through muscle to get it closed. Thank you to everyone. Your support has really kept my head up high through all this. Grateful forever. So he posts a picture of him with the stitches. And you can see the little box with the footage. And we'll go ahead and isolate that. So this is the slow motion breakdown. The moment that Sean Strickland is saying that Drake is Duplessis headbutts him. Which pretty much cuts him open. And you see here Drake is Duplessis makes contact with Sean Strickland's head. But also... It looks like there's a right hand that comes through as well. So let's go ahead and run this back and take a closer look. We see the head make contact for sure, which looks like it is the reason why he was cut open. But, you know, some people could probably make an argument for that right hand as well. But it's looking like that head butt did take place. And it looks like it was the reason why Sean Strickland ended up getting cut open. Now, in DDP's defense, it does look unintentional, I'm sure. DDP didn't try to headbutt him on purpose. It's a fight. Things happened. John Anik, who was on the broadcast team that night, said, Regret that we didn't isolate nor see that on the broadcast. Incredible fight and performance. Not hard to see why your fan base is enormous. DDP commented under its hand, Why don't you cry about it again? Which I thought was pretty interesting given their uh, back and forth history. Even Monster Energy commented saying, Don't have to tell us twice. Sean is the GOAT. But then Sean Strickland puts out another post, which I think is pretty interesting, saying, all right, I'm done complaining. Ha ha ha. Thanks, everyone, for letting me vent. On to the next. Laugh out loud. Love you guys. Thanks, ESPN. Uh, with some stats of the fight. But I just think this is a good approach, right? He intended to shed light on the head, but people acknowledged it. We see it. But at the end of the day, you got to move on, right? And I like this approach because you got to put the past in the past and put one foot in front of the other. And that's what he's doing. He got what he wanted. He showed people the head, but at the end of the day, you just can't change the past. He also showed the significant strikes per round, which he won the majority of. And, you know, a lot of people thought he won the fight. There's no doubt about that. Rogan, Dana White, people who are experts in the field. But, hey, what can you do? Tell me what you guys think about this in the comments below. Do you think it was a headbutt that caused that cut? Or do you think it was a right hook? Tell me your thoughts in the comments below.